Got you cannot That's tell right. me your creator, God of universe, didn't know difference between Moses or Pharaoh. Nah, man. See what happened was. Like, no, nah, what happened was influences. he was look he was when he was writing the Quran, right? He was looking down, right? He was looking down and when he was writing, he was like, Oh shoot. And he sneezed. He was like, Oh shoot. And it was like, ah, oh, well, might as well just keep it. That's what happened. Had to have been what happened. Because she is right. There's no way, no way that Allah would have been like, nah, I don't know what's going on. Unless he did. As well as Muslim missionaries published a book, mm, yes. okay, called Bridges Translation of the Ten Krat. That's like Arabic in one side, English is next to it. Footnotes tells you how many different Quran, how, that word cha um, changed the meaning in how many different Qurans. Mm. So you don't need to like go and buy those book, uh, Arabic books. You can simply get those PDF version of that Muslim missionaries book. He's making a case. We are very much aware of it. It's only like changes in few places. He puts only 30% of those changes and then says it's all together. Like his, I think his number was like over 1000, 1000, but that's only 30. And he's trying to downplay it y'all. He's trying to downplay it. That Muslim missionary. He's saying that there's only about a thousand and she's saying that there's, he's only using 30%. So 30%. Equals a thousand. I can't wait to see what all the other ones equal. So again, more than a dot and tittle. And so if you guys don't know, this is another response. Crazy Muslims in my comment section talking reckless, talking crazy, still believing that for some odd reason their book hasn't been rewritten and has variants and hasn't been quote unquote corrupted since that's what they like to call variants. Shout out Hatun, by the way. 30% of it. So when you put to, and that's in within 30 Qurans, when you 30. look at different Arabic Qurans, uh, you can easily come up with 93,000 variations from Quran A to Quran B. Okay. That's a lot of variations for not even a dot changed claim. She right. That's a lot. What's going on, folks? I'll give you a couple of examples. Anyone, oh, um, if anyone wants those lists, I can give you the list of the um, important variations. Can, um, in English, is there a difference between creature, uh, or innocent? Whoa, hold on. Okay, Surah 98 verse. Hold on. They talking about creature and innocent, but they talking about us and our scriptures, and they got a difference in the Quran of creature and innocent. Yo, that's crazy. Let's get back into it. Creature uh, or innocent. Mm. Okay, Surah 98 verse 6. Is there a difference between fight and kill? Mm, yep, yep, yep. What is the mm -hmm. difference between that? Uh, they fight in the UFC all the time. They don't kill. It's like difference between that and the life. Is, is there a difference between Pharaoh and Moses? Yes. Pharaoh is there a Moses difference between people? I and you? Yep. Yes. Ooh. Is there a Yo, shout out to Guy Logic, by the way. If you guys don't know, Sky Logic has a great short out there, or it's a TikTok, I, I don't remember, where he has the different versions of the Quran. Uh, Quran excuse me. He has the Humza. And I think the Warsh or the Hafs, I can't remember. It's probably the Hafs, those, the Hafs and the uh, Hamza Quran. And he shows the difference in the two, which I think she's alluding to when it talks about the I and the U, because it's talking about uh, it in the particular surah that it uses the word objecta or object two, excuse me, and the other one will use objecta. And that's the difference between uh, 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 Allah being confused or Muhammad being confused. Shout out, man. Go look at that video for God Logic. If I can find it, I'll probably, you know, post it in the description for you guys. But uh, yeah, so the Qurans is different, y'all. It's different. The new people, the people that understand, the people that debate the Christian apologetics all the time know that this is the case now. So they won't dare to talk about this anymore. Go ahead, ask Muhammad Hijab. He'll probably tell you, nah, we don't say that. Go ahead and ask a learned Muslims. But you Muslims in my comments obviously aren't learned because you don't know this yet. This has been out since at least 2014, at least probably been out longer than that, but that I know of, and that's, I've been aware from Miss uh, Hatun Tosh. I'm pretty sure she's a doctor. I don't know if she is or isn't though. I probably won't check that out, but just in case, I'm just going to call her Mrs. Hatun Tosh. Hatun! Speaking of Hatun, uh, Hakuna Matata. I just thought about that because her name. Anyway, so, uh, and also Dr. J. Smith and Daniel Brewbreaker. So it's been out there. You unlearned people, though, in the comments, talking crazy, sounding real dumb. And then when you get pressed, you don't know what to say. Difference, surely there is a reward versus is there a reward? Yes. 
one is question, other one is statement. Will not make it no, will will not make it known to you versus will make it known to you. Mm, yep, it's a little bit different. You will or you won't. <laughs> one of the okay. two. Okay, move the mountains, not move the mountains. Now you gotta move them. Those are just few examples. Okay, and th those are not big examples. Because they ain't gonna move on their own. Cert there are certain examples affects the life of Muslims, how they do their prayer. For example, mm -hmm. before they go to prayer, they need to wash their feet mm -hmm. or do they need to wipe their feet? It depends on the Quran you are reading. Depending on how clean you are, that's some when time in between. When you touch a woman in a sexual sense, you need to wash all of your body gusu okay mm -hmm. you need to have like full shower it's your stinking button that shower um if you handshake with a woman you just need to wash your hands feet all that like you need to do voodoo you don't need to have a shower if you are following one quran it tells you wait see one thing i won't do is i won't pretend like i know all about the culture i will never do that i will though read the book and see what i see in the book and then talk about what i see in the book i will do that but when it comes to the culture and what all the things that they have to do uh uh I didn't know about that. For you to give a woman a handshake, you got to wash your hands and feet. What the feet got to do with it? That's weird. Let me know if you are a Muslim. You made this point. I appreciate you. Lord willing to come to the truth. But if you don't and you just want to, you know, come at me crazy in the comments, that's cool too. But just let me know. Why? Why do they do that? When you sexually touch the woman, other Quran tells you when you do handshake with a woman. So what do you need to do? Because practice of Islam is different, depend which Quran you read. Mm. When you cannot fast, you need to feed people. Okay? Is it feeding one person or feeding more than three people, two, two, uh, two or more? So depend, it affects your daily life. Mm. Okay? So therefore, like, kill or fight is not that big deal. But certain things are big deal because it affects their worship. And sadly, Allah gets cross with people when they fail to do their prayer exactly the way they need to do it. Ooh. So therefore, it is important. Heavy. But for us overall, it is important because imams, sheikhs, mm. mothers of Muslims, fathers of Muslims, mm -hmm. they lie to their kids. They lie. Or the sheikhs and imams lie to those Muslims and they then tell them that there is only one Quran perfectly preserved dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound, word by word. They've been lied by people whom they learned to. Yo, shout out to Hatun Tash, man. Shout out. Let's go ahead on and <laughs> clap it up for her. Clap it up for her. She's in the field. She's in the trenches. Yo, she got assaulted and she came out like, yo, I'm still going to talk. I'm still going to spread the truth. It don't matter. She's a rider. She's a rider. Hatun Tash, if you don't know, if you don't know, let me be the first to introduce you. Fantastic. Bringing the truth, letting people know. Stop telling these kids that there's no uh, uh, variance, because there is. And y'all need to start telling y'all kids that so that they don't get older and then come in my comments again some years down the line be like, y'all, it's, it's always one Quran. Nah, I'm not going to stop it for a while after this. I'm going to let it ride out. I'm going to let a tune touch ride out. I've been talking crazy in the beginning. I'm just going to let it ride out. Look up to whom like biologically programmed to shepherd them. Most of those Muslims, of course, don't know those kind of lies. Mm -hmm. And we concern, we concern for that. Why? Because every, every action has reaction. Yes, it does. Consequences. People have consequences. And consequences, when it comes to the perfect preservation of the Quran is if you are reciting the wrong Quran, you are not going to get that pale man to intercede for you. What? And that's serious. That pale man. But overall, I think it's helpful to remember, uh, no one needs a pale man to intercede for them. No one it's needs not. a book to tell them what they need to do. There is a brokenness in this broken world. We've got problem in our hearts. Mm -hmm. Preach and on. that problem is like circulating around like a cancer. Teach on solution to that is the savior we don't need any other book we don't need dot by dot preserved i know i said i was gonna let it ride out but she said we need a savior so shout out to jesus christ our savior big shout out something we need perfect savior and that's lord jesus christ so using those kind of points and especially like shake yes um 
check um, Yasir Qadi's point on um, statements on there are holes in the narrative should draw our attention to Lord Jesus Christ and that help should help us to draw people's attention to Lord Jesus Christ because we want people to point themselves look up to one who has holes in his hand and holes in his feet mm. because that's the perfect sufficient savior and perfect intercessor for Muslims yeah well, she's been okay? she's been um, my time is up. Thank you very much for listening to me. If anyone, anyone had any question. So the question, question is, if, if Muslims are making a claim that Quran has been perfectly preserved, Lies. how do they respond to the um, question of like which Quran has been perfectly preserved? Mm. Allah knows best. A little bit. Um, Allah who doesn't even know who are the believers knows best. But in this <laughs> occasion, uh, yes. because majority of Muslim world knows about Hafs Quran, they will say Quran in my house, Quran in my hand, or they will point you to app, which says like this Quran, until they even see the differences, they are going to deny which one is being preserved. They go For deny, them, there is boy. only one Quran. Oh, it's just a recitation. It's just the dots. So they claim it's like just changing as the time goes on. Um, and when you put those differences, the question you are asking is, what did Allah reveal? How does Allah want you to practice your wudu, your prayer? How? Allah cannot say fight and kill in one breath because mm. they are opposed to the one another. Allah cannot say positive and negative thing in one breath for the same sentence. No, Allah can't you cannot it. tell me your creator, God of universe, didn't know difference between Moses or Pharaoh. No, nah, man. See what happened was. Like, no, nah, what happened was. Differences. He was look. He was when he was writing the Quran, right? He was looking down, right? He was looking down, and when he was writing. He was like, "Oh shoot!" And he sneezed. He was like, "Oh shoot!" And he was like, "Ah, well, might as well just keep it." That's what happened. Had to have been what happened because she is right. There's no way, no way that Allah would have been like, "Nah, I don't know what's going on," unless he did. Oh, so that was Hatun Tash, man, the great Hatun Tash. Shout out to her, man, again, a soldier for Christ. Thank God for her. Yo, if you're a Muslim and you made it up to this point, let me know. Since the Quran is the perfectly preserved word, and much like she was saying that there's so many different variants, let me know something. Are all the variants wrong when it comes to uh, uh, Imran being the uh, father of Mary and Aaron being the sister of Mary? Do all of them say that? Let me know. And also, if they do, why are they wrong? Because historically speaking, and understand when it comes from where they derive that from, they derive it from the Bible, obviously. Imram is Aaron's dad, Aaron and Moses' dad, not Mary that had Jesus. Mary from Moses' sister. That's who that is. They got it mixed up. But what y'all going to say is, oh, no, nah, Aaron is the descendant from, she's the, he's the descendant of, or excuse me, Mary's the descendant of Aaron. But yet, how is she the descendant of Aaron? But Aaron's father is her father. It don't add up. But let me know if you made it this far. And if you're anybody outside of the Muslim belief or a Muslim anyway that made it up to this point, I appreciate you so very much. This has been your boy, the Scripture Plug Albert, and I want to do my best to provide videos that inform and let people know. Uh, bring music videos and a whole bunch of other type of videos, even funny videos where I just make fun of people that talk crazy or do crazy stuff, like pastors, like Benny Hinn and stuff like that. Love y'all. Catch y'all next time. I'm out.